Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Cell Phones and Smartphones and Mobile Gadgeteer blogs. I have in my hand my uh, my black T-Mobile G1 Android device, and today, actually this morning when I was browsing on the Android market, I ran across a new application. Looking at, the, I usually sort by date just to see what's new in the store, and as you can see here in just a second. One of the new finds that I had found this morning was the Opera Mini 4.2 Beta, which I installed, and we're going to show you a little bit about that. Also notice that the G1 Grand Central application is now in, uh, in the store. So let me turn off the light. What I'm going to do is um, show you a couple things. We're going to look at um, Opera Mini and the default browser in uh, I'm going to try to do it in both Edge and Wi-Fi. So right now this is T-Mobile at home. I've got a signal it's showing uh, bounce between three or four bars pretty strong signal with Edge only and not 3G. So let's go ahead and start up Opera Mini. As you if you use this before you'll notice it's very familiar. I do have my uh, my con my bookmark synced using the Opera link so uh, first I'll start off by going to the Google Reader mobile now this is the version that is not the iPhone version and there you see it's loaded up very fast now let's, uh, let's pop over here switch so into landscape mode if I go into the menu a bunch of options pop up at the bottom as you can see here address start page bookmarks page info add bookmarks you go more you can find things in the page reload settings so let me enter the address and let's go uh, google.com slash reader and then just do the iphone version slash i all right let's go back into portrait mode as this loads so now it's processing the uh, iphone version of google reader what I found before is it does take some time, but if I hit the refresh, it seemed to load up faster actually. The last time I tried this, and see there we go. And this is all from a fresh uh, shutdown and start, so it's all nothing's cached or anything like that. And as you can see, it performs fluidly. You can go up and down. If you find something you want to read, you could tap on it and it will load it. Although it doesn't go down to that specific item, you have to scroll back down to that. Okay, now let's go to another address. And as you can see, the one thing about the address is it appears quite small there. So let's try uh, CN, um, CNN.com see what happens here. I'll go ahead and leave it in, uh, in portrait mode this time, see what happens. And it usually will reformat uh, portrait or landscape. Sometimes you do have to do a, a refresh of the page when you switch, if you switch in between while it's loading. And here we go, CNN's taking a little bit longer here. As I said, I just restarted uh, the phone so nothing was cached in Opera as well, even though I might have been browsing it before. Like I said, I also found Sometimes, if I stop it, let's try it again. As you can see, it's still a beta being worked on for Android. It is nice to see there's competition in, uh, in the browsing market, something that you don't get on the iPhone. As you can see, my signal has dropped down to one bar in Edge, which could be affecting uh, signal we'll show it again in, in Wi-Fi connection and and see what we get so it's taking quite some time that's pretty much unacceptable right there huh well I guess the CNN site is uh, a site to test out, huh? So 
they want. Let's go to the start page. And now let's go try it from the start page and see if maybe that Google Mobile Reader for the iPhone was uh, slowing things down at all. see it is taking quite some time to get to that CNN page. There's the CNN page. Let's try one more. Let's go to uh, to my website. The or, excuse me, blogs. It's hard to type around the camera. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Whoa, that was fast. You can see right there that loaded up very quickly. And as you can see, there's the mobile version of uh, my website. Okay, now let's uh, bounce over to the default web browser. Oh, wait, let's go back here real quick. One last thing I wanted to do is go to the iGoogle. Let me go back to my uh, start page, actually. And if I just go to iGoogle, And as you can see here, it's kind of a zoomed out view, so then you can scroll around with a box and, and zoom into the area you want to you wanna see more detail of. Okay, now let's jump into the default browser. And there's the Google page right there. Here's Google Reader. And I believe this is the format that's already formatted. Yes, the iPhone formatted one. And there you go. As you can see, the scrolling is faster in the default browser than it is in Opera Mini. Uh, let's see. Let's go into another one. Let's try that CNN again. And again, this is still edge connection with the default browser. Even in the default browser, it is a uh, it is taking a little bit of time to load this website, so it must be a rather slow one. And as you can see here, the CNN that it's showing is the full CNN, not the mobile version either. Okay, now let's go to my website. This will show up as the mobile version as well. And there it is. So as you can see, Opera Mini is nice to have, but it still is a, is a faster response with the default browser. Now let's uh, let's switch over to Wi-Fi and see what we get. Okay, now I have Wi-Fi running. Let's uh, let's go to Opera Mini, and then I did a full reset down to to clear out the, uh, the saved web pages. So here's starting Opera Mini. Hopefully the Wi-Fi connection kicks in here. Okay, so let's go back to uh, the slow one that we had, which was the CNN site. So let's enter the address, cnn.com. See how much faster it is with a Wi-Fi connection. There you go. Much faster experience with a Wi-Fi connection. Let's try that. Uh, go back to the start page. Google. 
as you can see it's much faster and snappier with uh, with the Wi-Fi connection just take a quick look at the default browser also quickly go to here CNN 2 just to show that and it should load, I think this one's going to load up the whole CNN page, not just the mobile page. And there we go. So obviously it's much faster to browse uh, via Wi-Fi. But it is nice, I have to say, to even see Opera Mini in a competing browser on the Google platform. Because you never know when you might uh, have to worry about data consumption. And uh, something being served up on the Opera servers. It could be nice to have Opera Mini on your device. And competition always uh, usually makes makes uh, makes for a good thing because everybody will improve uh, on their quality of their offerings. So that's a look at Opera Mini Beta 4.2 on the T-Mobile G1.